Hey guys, Basement Convention here for another unboxing. So today we're going to be looking at the Fleer Ultra X-Men cards that we grabbed at Carry On Comics. So we're going to, uh... oh, hey guys, what's up? What the hell are you doing, Jack? Nothing, I, I just thought maybe I could do one of the unboxings, you know, I'm always behind the camera. Is that okay? Are those my fucking X-Men cards? No. <laughs> Jack. No. You mother... Okay, okay. Sorry. I mean, Sorry, guys. you need the cameraman. You'll live. They're still in the package. You can touch them. Yeah, I'll, I'll go back behind the camera. It's alright. I'll, I'll go back. We are not okay. What? You and I are not okay. What can I do to make it better? I'm sorry. You better have box water on you. I, I don't. I'll bring it next week. I promise. Next week it's on me. You okay with this? You okay with this? <laughs> so, I'm going to be unboxing my Fleer Ultra X-Men cards that I got at Carry On Comics, Jack. And I'm going to help, right? I, I don't want to piss you off here. That's fine. Okay. Anyways, so I used to collect these things as a kid, and I gotta tell you, actually, you know what, to be completely honest with you, it was my brother and I that used to collect these things, and we got the entire set. I still have the entire set, but I don't think it really matters. I was so excited when I saw these things, I had to buy them again. Like, that's how good they are. I remember our childhood, everything was made into a card, whether it was X-Men, Street Fighter, Ninja Turtles, I mean, DuckTales, whatever it was, it had cards. And if it wasn't a card, it was a pod. Yeah, or it was a pod. Or it was a pod. Anyways, we're going to jump right into this because, again, I, I absolutely love this set and they're really nice looking cards. They're all chromium. They're all really shiny and pretty and I know how you like shiny things. I love shiny cards. So shiny things, I'm just right? here to open yeah. and be amazed. Absolutely. So what we're going to do, um, if you look at this, the packs here, all of them are kind of set up in this weird, like, it's a it's a landscape kind of view of the, uh, the, the front of the pack. There's one that I picked up that is a profile view. So you know what? That's, that's probably got something fancy in it. So I'm going to open that one last. Okay. Okay. And then, do you want to just split them down the middle? Go 6-6? Six, six? Split them down the middle. Alright, let's do it. So the one thing I noticed about these cards is when we picked them up from Carry On Comics, it looks like they've had them for quite a while. So I don't know how the test of time has kind of ravaged these things. I'm hoping it doesn't. But, you know, I just want to even get into it. <laughs> gotta, gotta give it some gusto. Alright, so we've got the Alter Beast. There we go, that's what we wanted. Legion, who, fun fact, is the son of Professor Xavier. Ooh, Wolverine timeline, so back again. Gauntlet, Warpath, Tusk. That was the first pack there. All right, what I got here was Force, Professor X. Ooh, Haunted Mansion, nice. And I actually like this Nightcrawler, but he was one of my favorite X-Men, so... Corsair. Maverick. And this card actually looks pretty awesome. Blood Scream. Mm. Alright. <clears throat> we got... Albert. Havoc. Which everyone should know is the brother of Cyclops, right? Right? Silver Samurai, which everyone should know is an f***ing robot. Thank you, Wolverine. Um, skin, Apocalypse, Let's put that there actually, um, and Strong Guy, because, you know, 1980s was a really easy time for names. Oh look, and now we got doubles, Force, Deadbolt, Life Force, Shadow Cat, Ooh, she got that booty, Kitty Pride, mm. Iceman, Woo. And Broken Claw, so it's like a fighter card there. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's Wolverine Origins. They did an entire timeline of um, when he was in Weapon X and Department H, and it's pretty sweet. Mr. Sinister, Archangel, who is honestly one of my favorite characters. He's such a badass. Bishop, who um, reminds me a little bit of Barrett. You like Barrett, don't you? <laughs> yeah, you know? Um, <laughs> Black Top Cassidy. Um, another Broken Claws, actually, from, uh, from the Wolverine timeline there, and a Haunted Mansion Storm. Okay, I will admit, this is the pack that was a little bit bent, and the cards are not so good, but, yeah. but we got a Wolverine, there's nothing wrong with that. Got the Juggernaut, another Nightcrawler, Omega Red, Jubilee, Ooh. and the Doug Clock. 
Cool. You know what? I really wish I had a Jubilee figure. You should get a Jubilee figure. I should. She's one of my favorites. I know people knock on her, but she's cute. She's super cute. She's super cute. I should I should get a, Wolver or a Wolverine figure. Wow. I should get a Jubilee figure. <laughs> and the funny thing is, actually, uh, Kotobukiya actually has a really nice Jubilee figure. Do they actually have one? Yeah, it's I beautiful. I love Kotobukiya. All right. Speaking of Jubilee, we got Sidekick. So Wolverine and Jubilee right there. Uh, Chamber, who is also a badass, but eh, he's kind of like, like the emo kid of the X-Men. Um, more uh, Black Tom, um, Orphan Maker, Spine, and more History of Wolverine, so Mariko. Oh, right here. And then we got Albert, Mondo, Penance. I like Elvis Cyclops here. Mm, Haunted Mansion. Strife. And Warpath. All right. So second last pack. Let's see, we got. Oh, hey, look, White Queen, Emma Frost, Iceman, uh, Deadpool. Look at that. Nice, nice old Deadpool there. Um, Lady Deathstrike. More Jubilee, because who doesn't want more Jubilee? And Locus. All right. And then we got M Plate, the Holocaust. Another Elvis Cyclops, Spiral, another Doug Clock, and Tusk. To be fair, it's Holocaust, not the Holocaust. That's a way different thing. Just saying. <laughs> it was dark. I'm sorry. It was pretty dark. So I'm going to let Jeff open up his last pack, and then I'm going to get into that one, uh, that profile view. Just, just for fun things, you know? If I can get it. If you can get it. All right, here. So we got a Mystique. Ooh. We got Logan. The Orphan Maker, Gambit, another Warpath, and Creepy as Ever Toad. The final pack, we got Cable, ooh, Sexy Made Cyclops. I like it. I know. Magneto, Gladiator, Sauron, and Haunted Mansion Beast. I would love that card. I just, I love, I love Beast. He's one of my faves. I can understand that. Yeah, you know, he's intelligent, but he's still a beast. So as you can see, Brad is highly addicted to these. He actually used to collect them when he was a kid. Uh, he has this awesome Lethal Weapons uh, nine-piece card set here that's actually worth quite a bit of money, right? Yeah, I think the last time I priced them, which was a little while ago, I think it was actually when we went to Carry On Comics and I got those packs, I think I priced them at about like 90 bucks or something like that, so. That's, that's awesome. Your childhood has given you something a little back. Yeah, little back, right? yeah, I'm not gonna sell them. Because why would I do that? You can't sell stuff like this. No, it's worth money, but no. And plus, you have it in a wall hanger. Yeah, seriously, absolutely. Actually, you know what? If I'm being honest with you, my brother was the one that put this in because when we were kids, it was him and I collecting together. So most of our stuff, like our comics, our, our collectible cards and stuff, we, we kind of put into like a cumulative pool of, you know, collections, which is probably how we got this this stack. This is actually right here is the uh, the full 100% set basically of the the Fleer Ultra X-Men cards and these ones are actually the full chromium ones so all of them are super shiny all of them are really really nice so when we were collecting we just kind of stacked them all together and ended up with the entire set um, with the exception of one card that when uh, he my brother stopped collecting and kind of donated the set to me and was like you know what you'll it'll be a, it'll be better with you um, we were missing one card and I, I ordered that one off eBay I won't lie to you oh I know, you I know. Come on, oh, man! I got I got all the rest of them in in those same packs. What though. was it? What card was it? It was a card a card called M. That's it. M. It's just super rare. M. Or did you just never get I it? I just never got it. That sucks. Yeah. Spent five bucks on it. You gotta do what you gotta do, though. Yeah. Every I, once in a while, you gotta pay a little bit to finish your complete collection. I had one card. I couldn't let it sit. One card. Well, now you have them all. Yeah. But I mean, the cool thing about these is like. Especially the lethal, lethal weapons, they have, um, you know, on the back they have like random facts and, you know, full name and, you know, just different different quotes and stuff like that. They're actually really cool. I like them a lot. Um, and especially because they're like super, super shiny. Again, I know you like shiny things, so. Um, yeah, just looking at this set, I'm amazed already. <laughs> like, it looks so beautiful. I wish I kind of had something like this to hang up. Absolutely. And I'm, I'm actually myself, I'm working on getting more of these frames so I can frame the entire 100 set. Um, so there were these ones and actually a mini set within this that was embossed as well. So it would like 
like certain muscle tones and structures would actually pop off the card, which was kind of cool. I love those cards when I was a kid, the bumpy cards. Yeah. Or even like the bumpy style comics. It'd be like, oh yeah. yeah. It's like, it's like they're popping off the page. This is elite. <laughs> Back when we were like 10, eh? <laughs> yeah, the things that amazed us when we were younger. Seriously, right? But yeah, no, there's a couple of really cool stuff. I mean, like right out of the gate again, like I said, one of my favorite characters is Archangel and like he's number one in the set and he's all like shiny and stuff. And yeah, just like all of these guys are... Yeah, and a lot of them are actually, we've got signed by the artist, so they actually put the, the shine in, uh, in an embossing there. It's really, really, really pretty. This is why I was addicted to these when I was a kid. I mean, come on, shiny mystique. Yeah, more signatures on the bottom. They're really nice. There she is. No, nope, that's Iceman. There she is, so. And she's signed too, I have her signed. Ooh. Got that sign made. Mm-hmm. So yeah, these are, I love this set. I absolutely love this set. So that's the end of the Fleer Ultra X-Men cards unboxing here for you guys. As you can see, they're really amazing cards and these all pulled us in when we were a kid. What we want to know though is what you collected when you were a kid. You know, send us your pictures on Twitter or Facebook so we can check them out. And uh, what else you got to say here? <sighs> I'm just confused as to how I went from X-Men to Dragon Ball as my fandom, but you know what? I'm not going to ask questions. I'm just going to roll with it. Anyways, tune into our next unboxing where we unbox box water that Jack owes us. Yeah, Jack. Dirty motherfucker. <laughs>